I'm Gary Byrne. I wrote the book Crisis of Character. I've been in the federal government law enforcement for 29 years. I'm an absolute subject matter expert on the Secret Service, Air Force, Security Police, the, the federal law enforcement. A lot of the problems that are in federal law enforcement uh, and issues. So, so I'd like to talk a little bit about um, the media's strategy sometimes when somebody's questioning or uh, asking somebody questions and about the responsibility that the media has to the American public. Well, and at, at least, least he's hearing them. Those at least he's yes, hearing absolutely. them. I mean, there can be no criticism of him for hearing them. In fact, different his different final viewpoints. comment was he'd like to do that more often, perhaps even have a quarterly tech meeting. Now, the question will be, once they don't do what he likes, what does he do to them? And does the relationship continue? Okay, let me ask you this. Um, So one of the things I like to see media do, and some do do it, but in the case of this case with Megyn Kelly and some other people, and I saw this on radio shows, and if, 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 if a newscaster, an interviewer, wants to get the message out, ask the question and let them answer it. You don't see that too often. The media needs to ask sincere questions about important things and then let the people that they've brought on that are supposed to be subject matter experts explain, tell their story, give them a chance. Um, certainly, it's their job to help steer it a little bit, but you know the, the ideal is to steer it to get the truth out, uh, not to inflict uh, what your opinion is on it, what the, what the media person's opinion is on it. If a host has a guest on, who's supposedly a subject matter expert, and the host's talking more than the guest, then they're, they're really not fulfilling their job. Why, t why, why take the time to have m me, the expert on my book, Crisis of Character, on, if you're not going to give me a chance to explain it, and a little bit about myself and um, why not just, you know, why even have me on at all, just have the Clinton campaign on or whoever else and just let them uh, dish out their drivel. Just because you have a guest on who um, is an expert in, um, in uh, you know, in particle physics uh, doesn't make you an expert in particle physics. So, you know, they um, let the experts talk, let the people that you have on, give them a chance to explain themselves and then ask questions. Look at the media like an investigator, no matter who it's, whoever you're watching, whether it's Fox News, MSNBC, uh, American News One, scrutinize it. What did they say? What is it they're trying to say? They're trying to insinuate something. Do some research yourself. Use some common sense. Watch how they say it and, and watch where they say it. When they say something close to the end of the interview, that's when it starts, it's going to get exciting because they're trying to insert something that's a little flamboyant, maybe a, a little attention grabbing. and if it's something they don't want you, the guest, to counter because they're pushing a certain agenda, they'll do it at the end so you don't have time to reply. And they can go to commercial or whatever. Understood, understood. Trying to... But the country has a right to believe in its leaders and to understand there are clear lines that have been drawn when yes, it comes to potential conflicts of interest. And they're of going interest. to announce that, but aren't we happy that you have the transparency and the openness of seeing them in the meeting? Well, if it's inappropriate, the transparency is like, it's okay, great, we would have found out. It's not like, it's there not were a lot of people there. Uh, it's not inappropriate. But the question is whether it, it is clear that, you know, there, this line has been drawn uh, between the two sides. These are just incredibly capable... Is. Um, executives in the Trump Corporation who will no question. continue to no question, but they get, the they're going to have to choose which horse they're on. Great to see you, Kelly. Thank you. All the best. And this is what some of the mainstream media does. They 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 craft the message in a way that makes you believe. In some cases, that they're they're with you and they believe. You know, they're trying to support you, or, or you know, you actually they you hear them use language sometimes where it's not that I disagree with you, but or they'll say. American people want to know. What American people? There's nobody sitting there but them. This is their question. This is one of the things that always crack me up. The American people want to know um, what it is that uh, you do in your spare time. No, they don't. You're asking a question because you have a job to do and you're trying to get ratings. To take some responsibility for what you're, you're watching and, uh, and try to, to, um, to look at it with an open mind. They're clearly, it's not hard to figure out that they're trying to push an agenda. They want you to, you know, it's almost like a car salesman. The car salesman brings you on the lot with, 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 the, with the premise of getting a good deal. But really what he wants you to, what he gets you on that lot for, because there's a car that he has to sell. You know, when a scandal happens, uh, for instance, you know, the, the prostitution down in, car, in uh, Columbia, um, they never went and investigated, you know, what the causation is. And, and they gave you the impression, Homeland Security, you know, trying to squash this, said, oh, this is just a, a, an isolated incident. It's not an isolated incident. 
it's almost a, a, it's almost a modus operandi, I'd be, be honest with you. Um, I'm not telling you that everybody in the Secret Service, when they go out on the road, um, you know, dates outside their marriage. A lot of people are single. But the ideal that that um, that this was a one-time thing was is ridiculous. There's many stories out there. The Secret Service, with the help of the mainstream media, squashed them and didn't look into it. Nobody looks at the causation. All they want to know is the exciting part, the flashy, glossy part, the sparkly part. Oh, men are chasing hookers and they wouldn't pay them. And and um, but look at the reason why. Those are things you're not going to learn about because they won't focus long enough. And that's just an example. It doesn't matter what the story is, whether it's volcanoes, whether it's the Secret Service, whether it's the IRS. You know, let's talk about the IRS. The scandal, the scandal with President Obama's IRS um, uh, slighting uh, conservative uh, groups when it comes to, to um, uh, getting uh, tax relief, uh, getting their, their um, the proper paperwork for the way they are taxed. Um, you know, they did a 15 minute thing on it and because it, it, it made the Democrats or President Obama look bad, you don't hear anything about it anymore. Even the, you know, you don't see the Justice Department going after it because they don't keep hammering the story. If it's a story that the media doesn't like, the mainstream media, it makes the Democratic Party look bad, they switch over to something else. If it was something that made you know, and you're going to see this now that they're going to have a, a Republican president. If this guy so much as trips over an ant and crushes it, they're going to be all over it. Um, everything that he, that he does, is, as you see now, is going to be scrutinized. Whether good or bad, they're going to make it all look bad. No matter what it is, you watch the way they cover Donald Trump. He's right when he says they don't cover him fair. Um, like I said, look at it, investigate it, you know, get the information and make your own judgment.